Hi, I'm Jacqueline Fung and this is Making the Call. We start with Malaysia's largest power cable player, Sarawak Cable Berhad or Scable. According to Hong Leong Investment Bank, the company is a proxy to the Sarawak state election play due in mid-June next year. The state has identified 12 dams to be built and with Sarawak Energy no longer listed, Scable stands to benefit. The Pan Borneo Highway is another prospect as Scable plans to supply steel structures. Hong Leong has a buy rating on Scable, target price 2 ringgit 57 cent, that's a 64.7% upside. As for potential in the peninsula, Scable is bidding to supply 275 kilovolt cables and transmission line construction at Rapid. Elsewhere, Scable holds a 20-year PPA to supply electricity to Indonesia's national utility company via a mini hydro plant in North Sumatra. The stock is currently trading at 1 ringgit 61 cent from 1 ringgit 56 cent last Friday. Hong Leong sees a decisive breakout above 1 ringgit 62 cent and that will spur prices higher to retest 1 ringgit 69 cent. Its last target price is 1 ringgit 80 cent, cutting loss at 1 ringgit 47 cent. Now moving on to leading pipe coating company, Wasyong. Its pipe coating business unit has clinched a job worth nearly 167 million ringgit in Norway. Public Investment Bank has a neutral call for Wasyong, target price unchanged at 1 ringgit 6 cent, packed to a 10 times PE and FY16 forecast EPS of 10.6 cent. Public Bank believes that although Wasyong has a 5 billion ringgit tender book, the timeline of the awards is still unclear and it will likely be delayed, slowing down contract replenishments which will affect the group's overall performance. MIDF Research also has a neutral call for Wasyong, target price unchanged at 1 ringgit 13 cent. Meanwhile, BIMB Securities Research is maintaining its sell call for Wasyong. It points out that this job is only expected to begin in the fourth quarter of 2016. Target price unchanged at 57 cent. Hong Leong is maintaining its sell call for Wasyong. It says the contract win will only sustain the company's revenue going forward, but not growth. It's keeping its target price at 89 cent based on unchanged 9 times FY16 PE. At last look, the stock was trading at 1 ringgit and 4 cent. And that's it for making the call. I'm Jacqueline Fung. Thank you for watching.